हेलो एस्पिरेंट्स प्रीलिम्स को लेके बहुत डर हो गया आजकल एस्पिरेंट्स में एंड द फियर इज आल्सो वेरी लेजिटिमेट बिकॉज द क्वेश्चन पेपर इज सो डिफिकल्ट एंड सो रैंडम कहां से आ रहा है क्वेश्चन कहां से पूछ रहे हैं नो बडी नोस एंड इफ यू लुक एट द्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री प्रीलिम्स पेपर द क्वेश्चन पेपर वॉज आउट ऑफ दिस वर्ल्ड क्वेश्चन वर वेरी डिफिकल्ट एंड ऑप्शन विच वर फॉर्मुलेटेड विच वर इवन मोर डिफिकल्ट तो ऐसे में एस्पिरेंट्स क्या करे नाउ If you analyze 2023 prelims and even the prelims before that also, so we will take example of 2023 prelims because it was the most difficult paper. There were about 20 to 25 questions. If you are well prepared, there were about 25 questions which were fairly easy in nature, which uh, a well prepared uh, aspirant could have done them easily. And there were about 20 to 25 questions which were moderate in nature. So it takes us to a total of about 45 to 50 questions. which were easy or moderate and there were about 50 questions which were i would say difficult in nature now what does this mean is that if you are able to solve these easy and moderate to mod, uh, difficult questions then uh, you could have easily cleared the cut off that is of about 80 to 85 marks uh, which is expected but mai aisa kyu keh raha hu mai koi hawa mein baatein nahi kar raha hu i myself was there in the examination hall i myself have cleared the upsc prelims 2023 and i was able to score more than 100 marks as per the keys of different institutions actual marks kitne wo to upsc ki ki aane pe pata chalega but still i would i think i had a good margin above the cut off expected cut off and how was i or any other successful aspirant who has cleared the prelims were able to do so now there are two things which are very important for any aspirant to clear prelims first is of course how you compose yourself how you maintain your composure during the actual examination us 2 ghante ke andar aapko apne calm mind se question paper ko solve karna hai to kafi aspirants wo one only two only dekh ke bahut dar gaye the to unko jo aata tha they forgot those questions also and the other important thing is to strategize while you are preparing when many aspirants make this mistake of running after the most difficult questions they will look at the most difficult questions in the paper and they will say okay this was the very difficult part this year history was very really, very difficult or this year environment was very difficult and uh, they spend most of their time on that particular subject and ignore the subjects which were fairly easy in nature which could have actually uh, you know given them marks so isme problem kya hai isme problem ye hai they fail to identify low hanging fruits now the successful uh, candidates they know that uh, the focus should be on low hanging fruits the questions which were easy or the questions which were moderate in nature तो अगर आप और एनालाइज करोगे और देखोगे विच टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन वर इजी और मॉडरेट इन नेचर सो यू विल सी दैट क्वेश्चन सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन ऑफ क्वालिटी नाउ नॉट दी ऑल क्वेश्चन बट सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन ऑफ क्वालिटी वर फेरली इजी टू मॉडरेट इन नेचर सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन ऑफ साइंस एंड टेक वर इजी टू मॉडरेट इन नेचर बट स्टिल बाई फार द इजिएस्ट सब्जेक्ट इन यूपीएससी प्रिलिम्स इज डेफिनेटली इकोनॉमी इकोनॉमी के 90% परसेंट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन वर easy to moderate in nature and they were doable in nature i have done it and a lot of aspirants also were able to do those successfully and that was the most rewarding part of upsc prelims not of 2023 only but maine pichle char upsc prelims nikale hain aur aap pichle char nahi pichle 10 saal ke pyqs dekhiye economy is by far the easiest subject in the upsc prelims that is for sure so what you have to do now is you have to strategize in a way that you do not make any uh, mistakes you do not make any mistakes in the economy as far as upsc prelims is concerned to uske liye we have done the analysis of pyqs of past 15 years and we have identified two important things first is of course the questions were you know more than 60% to 70% more than 60% questions were easy in nature and about 20 to 25% were moderate in nature only 10 to 15% questions we would say were difficult in nature for the economy in prelims and the other important thing is 81% of the questions in past 15 years are conceptual in nature what does it mean is ki current affairs ki magazine mein data facts figures ka ratta lagana band kijiye iske andar kya hua kya nahi hua do not ratify anything for economy we do not have to memorize any data any figures what we have to focus upon is the concepts kuch concepts hain kuch themes hain jo repeat hote hain so based on our pyq analysis we have identified five themes and in those five themes there are 17 topics and in his 17 topics may say upsc bar bar questions puchta hai questions repeat nahi hote uh, don't take me wrong here the questions repeat nahi hote hain but themes repeat hote hain ye aapne sabne suna hua hoga themes uh, jo hai upsc repeat karta hai pre ke andar bhi karta hai aur mains ke andar bhi karta hai now what you as an aspirant have to do 
एस्पिरेंट्स को क्या करना है अब यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टेक द प्रिंट आउट ऑफ द सिलेबस दैट कलाम आई एस इज प्रोवाइडिंग यू एंड दिस इज नॉट बेसिकली अगेन टू क्लैरिफाई दिस इज नॉट ए सिलेबस प्रोवाइडेड बाई यूपीएससी क्योंकि यूपीएससी प्रिवेंट्स के अंदर कोई ऐसा डिटेल सिलेबस देता नहीं है This is basically important themes and important topics that we have identified based on our PYQ analysis. So uh, you take print out of this PDF, you take print out of all these topics, and whenever you are reading your current affairs and whenever you are reading your basic books or your notes, then you keep these in handy and you try to identify. Okay, these are the topics which uh, are related to these themes and these topics, and that is why they are more important. And you uh, clarify all the concepts. And if there is any factual information which you think is very important, then you try to note it down and memorize that also now if still after that you do not feel very confident now uh, it is uh, not very difficult thing to do uh, you can do it on your own also but still if you don't do not feel very confident then we have uh, recorded lectures on that we have about 20 hours of record, recorded lecture so aapko kuch nahi karna hai aap bas free mind se usko dekhiye 20 hours ke videos hain and in these 20 hours we will clarify all the uh, you know past 12 years pyqs से रिलेटेड जितने भी कॉन्सेप्ट है वी विल क्लैरिफाई ऑल द कॉन्सेप्ट एंड ऑल द इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक्स विच आर देयर इन द स्टेटिक बुक्स वी विल क्लैरिफाई दोज ऑल्सो एंड एनी अदर इम्पोर्टेंट करंट अफेयर इफ देर इज वी विल क्लैरिफाई दोज ऑल्सो सो यू कैन सब्सक्राइब टू दैट दैट इज एट नॉमिनल प्राइस ऑफ यू नो बिलो वन थाउजेंड रुपीज सो दीज ट्वेंटी आर्स वीडियोज आर बेसिकली क्रैश कोर्स ऑफ योर इकोनॉमी वेर वी विल कवर ऑल द पी वाई क्यूज एंड ऑल द इम्पोर्टेंट स्टेटिक टॉपिक्स and uh, i assure you these are going to be the most rewarding 20 hours in your prelims preparation because these are the lowest hanging fruit which you must grab and uh, once you have understood the concepts or uske liye koi bahut more force banane ki zarurat nahi hai you just sit, sit back and relax, sit back and relax and uh, you know watch those videos and uh, if you are able to grab the concepts if you are able to uh, you know understand what i am saying then you are good to go you will easily uh, you know solve all the economy questions in apsc prelims 2024 for sure So uh, thank you very much I hope to see you in our lectures thank you